Hey everyone, it's Benny, and today I'm making a quick update to explain why I've started doing basic redstone tutorials, and also some of my plans for the future. First off, the reason I'm doing basic redstone tutorials is partly because I've noticed a problem with all the tutorials I've made so far, and that is, I really don't know who's going to be watching my tutorials. I mean, it could be some evil dark lord of redstone, or it could be someone who doesn't even know what redstone means. So, you know, you see the problem there? I, I can't really... I mean, I want to do advanced redstone tutorials. You, you know that. I've done the computer series, I've done the GPU series, I've done the calculator series. So yeah, I want to do advanced redstone tutorials. But, as you probably noticed in those series, if you have watched them, one of the big issues is I'm trying to make it so that people who don't understand redstone can follow along, and that's... it's really hindering, in all honesty. It really... it makes it so that I can't quite go as advanced as I would like to, and some of the people who are more advanced probably don't learn as much as they'd like to, and really the people who don't understand redstone are probably not learning as much as they'd like to either, so it's really a lose-lose for everyone. And that's one of the reasons why I've decided to start doing the basic redstone tutorial. But the reason I've decided to start doing it now is because I'm going to be doing another computer series. And this one is going to be different because it's not going to be the basic noob series which starts with, oh hey, this is what logic gates are. No. This is where I'm going to attempt to create probably one of the most advanced computers in all of Minecraft and make a tutorial on how to build it. And, in fact, it's going to be so complex that by the end of it, we're not even going to be talking about redstone problems anymore. We're going to be talking about actual computer science problems. And I'm even working on creating my own programming language specifically for this computer. And the cool thing about that is that if you, if you write a program in that language, and you have any other redstone computer that implements it, you can run the same program on, on all those computers, and it will work just fine. So, I, I'm actually pretty excited about that, but, yeah. So anyways, yeah, I'm going to be making this big, I guess you could call it advanced Minecraft computer series, and the issue is, I really can't have any beginners following along on that, or people who just don't ha have a strong understanding of the concept of Redstone, because this is going to really push redstone to its limits, and it, it's really important to understand what's going on if you ha want to have any hope of following along, and, you know, since there really isn't that much content out there about how redstone works, especially into some of the more advanced concepts like binary and addition, it's only fair that I first make a series that explains redstone in depth, and by the end of it, hopefully, I mean, I'm sure some of you a lot of my subscribers are just going to skip through the first couple of videos because they're really aimed at true beginners, but once you watch some of the later series, which is going to cover subjects like binary in-depth and what adders are actually doing and instant carry and multiplexers and basically every redstone concept you can imagine, by the end of that, hopefully you'll have a strong enough understanding of redstone to not only make really advanced things of your own, but also to hopefully be able to make... Um, what am I thinking here? But hopefully be, to be able to follow along the series and understand it with ease. And that's really what I'm going for here. So I hope you understand and I hope you'll bear with me for these first couple videos which are really aimed at true beginners. But after that I'll get into some really in-depth explanations of more advanced concepts like, for example, actually one of the really big things I want to do differently is I want to explain not only what the things do, but when you're going to use them. So, that, that, I think that's going to be useful to just about anyone, no matter what your skill level is. And I'm losing focus on redstone for some reason. Okay, there we go. But, um, yeah. And before I go, there's one more thing I'd like to show you. So, you see the redstone device I've been standing on for this entire video? This is actually the ALU that's going to go into my more advanced redstone computer. And... I don't want to say it's the most advanced, but it has offers the most functions for the speed that I've seen in any ALU ever created in Minecraft. It's even faster than some of the simple addition ALUs. It's ridiculous. 
So it features addition and subtraction, like most AOUs. It can also do basic multiplication and basic division, although basic multiplication doesn't work right until you add registers, so I can't exactly show that off yet, but it does do it, it works. And so that's the arithmetic side. It also does every single Boolean logical function you can think of. It can do and, or, xor, xnor, nor, or, nand, even implies. It can do, it can do inverse implies. It can do s s any logical function you can imagine. It has it. And it does them all, and guess how fast? Five ticks. That's at the slowest. And the slowest a signal can pass through this ALU is in five ticks. And the fa some signals can even pass through it in two ticks, depending. So it's ridiculously fast. So I think I'm just going to show... Oh, and one of the really cool things about this, I can't believe I forgot to mention this. The unit for doing basic division is separate from the rest of the arithmetic unit. So you can actually do addition, subtraction, or multiplication, and then do division all in the exact same five tick command. I think that's pretty amazing. So, I'm just... Oh, and actually there's one thing I should bring up uh, though before I demonstrate it, and that is, even though this thing is mostly my own design, the only things I really didn't design in it are the XOR gate and the right shifter. Although I sort of modify the design of the right shifter. I'll explain that when I do the tutorial. I still hesitate to take full credit for this thing, because, you know, even though, like I said, it's pretty much my design, it's also really similar to the design that IDNO used in his AOU. And this is, I mean, it's different, it's just built similarly. It's hard to explain, but it's similar to his design, so I, I hesitate to take full credit for it. Because, I mean, I wasn't trying to emulate his design, if that's what you're getting out of this. It's just, you know, I think fair is fair. He came up with a design that's pretty similar to this before I did, so, you know, that's my reasoning there. And, um, yeah. By the way, if you haven't heard of him before, you should check him out. I'll leave a link to his channel in, in the description. He does advanced redstone tutorials. They're pretty interesting. You should definitely look at them. So, anyways, let's get on. Let's demonstrate it. So first off, I'm going to do subtraction. This works by two's complement, so I'm going to invert input B. That should turn everything to 1, which it does. The entire output's now 1. Now I'm going to add 1 to the carry, and now everything's off again. So, now let's subtract something. I'm going to subtract 50, so that this right here is 32, so 32, 16, that's 48, and 2, that's 50. And that should be the output right now. It should be, just be going straight through. And of course it is. So there's 50. And I want to subtract... Uh, let's subtract 10. So 8 and 2. That's 10. And it's already finished long before I even get to the end, but... Yeah, there you go. The answer should be 40. This is 32. That's 16. That's 8. So 32 plus 8 is 40. Like I said, division is a separate unit, so let's divide this by 2 for fun. So divided by 2, now it's done some subtraction, and it's dividing it by 2. So that's 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. 4 plus 16 is 20. It's now doing 50 minus 40 divided by 2 all in a single operation. That's pretty cool, in my opinion. And for fun, I'll undo the division, and I'll change it to addition, so that, that should give us a 60. So, now we should be getting 60, and this is 32, 16, 8, and 4, which does add up to 60 if you want to do the math. And let's do division, just for fun. Let's get 30. So 30, 30, whichever way you want to pronounce it. There's actually this huge deal in the comments about the way I pronounce 30 for some reason. I think it's kind of funny, actually. But anyways, um, so this is, should be 30, so... This right here is 16, plus 8, plus 4, plus 2. That, that's 30. Regardless of how you wish to pronounce it. I don't know why people are making such a big deal about that, but whatever. And yeah, so there you go. Just thought I'd... There's at least the arithmetic part of it. I can show you the logical part, but... Yeah, you know what, why not? I have time. So I'll 
switch on into logical mode, it should be defaulting to XOR, so I have one input on. Now if I flip the other one, it's doing XOR. So good. If I flip this lever, it'll change it to doing implies. So if I flip input B, that will turn on. But only if it's by itself. If I flip input A, that can and it won't work at all. And let's let's change it to am just for fun. And again, you can do any logical function with this. So if I just hit A, nothing. Wait, and oh yeah, it does do a quick pulse. That's just a slight glitch. You can't help it. It's the way it's designed. So nothing, nothing. But when I flip both, then it turns true. So it can do all arithmetic and all logical functions. So yeah. And of course, I'll be doing showing you completely how this works and how to build it. And why is aren't all the inputs? Oh, all right. I'll be showing a complete tutorial on how this works and how I build it in the advanced Minecraft computer series. Just thought you might be interested in seeing that. So thank you, and see you next time.